Mr. Paul Reed Smith, it's an honor to meet you. We've it's been trying Paul. to get this interview. Paul, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's I Paul. like that. It's good. Yeah, good. It should be. Look, we're doing. We're going to talk about Queen Anne's County, first name basis. Let's go. Okay, you got it. Bruce. Got it, Bruce. Paul. All right. It's an honor to meet you. We've been trying to get this interview for like five years now. So now I finally get to sit with you. Yeah. Five years. That's how long we've we've, we've been wanting to meet you. But cool. so we have lots of questions. Some of them locally, and some of them a little bit more broad. All right. So ask away. Well, could you tell us uh, where are we sitting right now today? I'm in a chair. It's deep, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in the vault. Um, we built this thing because in 2008, the economy took a real dump from the mortgage crisis. And we built a vault, which was a wood library, a place where you could pull tops out, fingerboard wood, neck wood, all this stuff, and build a guitar, the beginnings of a guitar on a table, and then the order was come from. So you're, you're in a wood library, which is, well, we think, one of the only ones on the planet. That's cool. awesome. And so neat seeing. I mean, just the wood behind you, you yeah. kind of have it labeled what it is, where it came yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. It's so neat to be in this room. And we're also upstairs of PRS Guitars itself. That's it. There's a, it's a two-level building. You know, we had an earthquake here in Queen Anne's County. And it shook this building at its roots, but because the top floor was built to support CNC machinery, the whole thing held together perfectly because we had built it so strong so that we could have a two-layer um, uh, automated building. That's phenomenal. Yeah. And we're right here in Stevensville. Yeah. And a lot of people are watching locally know that, but if you're yeah. not from Stevensville, we're right here on the eastern shore of Maryland. Yeah. Why did you choose to have PRS right here in Stevensville? Well, the, this area is my home. Mm -hmm. This is, area is our home. I love it here. Um, Queen Anne's County uh, economic development uh, welcomed us with open arms, did everything they could to help us be here. The um, laws were uh, matched our need to manufacture. Um, there were a lot of great people in this area that wanted jobs, and we were offering jobs. I, I, why not? This is, look, Maryland's a good place. From an international point of view, it's easy for me to get to Texas, easy for me to get California, easy for me to get to New York, easy for me to get to Boston, easy for me to get to London, pretty easy to get to Frankfurt. The only real problem is New Zealand, <laughs> Australia. Uh, Japan's actually not that bad. You just go right over the thing. I mean, it's a perfect place to be able to commute from on an international sales basis or a U.S. sales basis. You now this is my home and I like it here and I, um, there was somebody here from Florida uh, that runs a very famous business in our industry. She loved it. She was like, this place is beautiful. When you guys arrived, a great blue heron flew yeah. out of the pond. You didn't even know it happened. It yeah. was great. Yeah, I did want to remind the people. Why not? That, that, that we, 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 we scared your we, heron away. We have pterodactyls <laughs> in Queen Anne's <laughs> County. Arr, these big gray blue herons are yeah. great. And actually, I was going to ask this question later, but that's a perfect segue. Yeah. The blue heron was a cool symbol because yeah. you love birds, right? Well, my mother was a bird watcher. I, I, yeah, it was easy. The reason the birds are on here is because my mother was a bird watcher. Right. So they're the inlays right yeah, on that. Yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. yeah, I never knew that, but it's neat. And okay. just seeing your love for seeing the heron yesterday. Yeah, yeah are you kidding? It was so cool when the I found thing that story. had like an eight and a half foot wingspan. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Uh, why, no, I did. How can I you not it. like that? Well, yeah, I was too busy making sure I didn't. It was your car. fishing for bass in my pond. <laughs> I like this area. Um, I don't know. Look, this is our home. Why not? Been that, better liking your home than not liking it. Right? Exactly. And uh, how long have you been here now? Well, the factory's been here a long time. Yeah. Um, you know, since before 2000, but um, I live in Anne Arundel County mm -hmm. uh, next to a crab house. I'm sorry, we don't eat crabs in Queen Anne's County, do we? Yeah, we yeah, do. Yeah, I've never heard of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you're, you are local. You know. I am local. Yeah, you are local, you are. So can we take it back just a little bit? What was the first love of music that developed in you? Where, where did you find your love? I don't know where I found my love, but the love of guitars was easy. Yeah. First time I heard Hendrix play or, or the Beatles play or Led Zeppelin or Jeff Beck, I mean, you know, I just adored the sound of the guitar. A lot of people got into playing guitar so they'd get a date. I didn't care. I only <laughs> wanted the sound of the guitar. I, I, liked the, I liked guitars as a whole. 
and when I made guitars, it would draw a crowd. If I played guitars, it was like oil and water wasn't good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, kind of God told me that I should be making guitars, not playing them. But I've gotten into playing them recently. I like it. That's awesome. Do you remember your first guitar? Yeah, of course I do. Where is it now? I don't know. Did you sell it, or was it? Actually, I heard a story. You gifted it, right? Was uh, it in very, Was it in very college? First guitar I have is stole from my mother. It was oh, a man. High, it was called a high low nylon string guitar. It was a off brand of you know nylon string guitar. We, mm -hmm. Our house got broken into, and my mother's really expensive nylon string that she used to play all the time um, had been taken, and she got a replacement for it. Mm -hmm. What about the first one you built? It's here. Is it? It's in archives, yeah. Oh, you man. can get a picture of it. Nice. See, I had no idea. It was, but, you know, it, was, it didn't look exactly like this. It looked like, it was like when you get in a band, you play, you know, Proud Mary. You don't play a tune you wrote. <laughs> you know, you play, you know, I know you want to yeah, leave yeah. me or something, right? Right. Um, you don't play a song you wrote. So the first ones I made were a way of learning how the craft. Of course. Do you still get to make them? Well, that depends on your definition. I got my hands on guitars every day. I'm teaching about guitars every day. Did I sand this guitar? No. Did I physically put that bird in and super glue it in place? No. Did I, was I involved in the design of the guitar deeply? Did, was David Grissom uh, designed in, the, in this guitar? Yes, it's a DGT guitar. So. Um, I remember the first green guitar. I thought it was kind of nuts, and we saw a lot of them. So, obviously, you have help then. You actually have a large staff. We have it's, 450 yeah. people working here. It's, it's not amazing. a large staff. It's a production facility for making, you know, the number three electric guitar company uh, in America. We're the third largest manufacturer of electric guitars in this country. Yeah. Not in terms of what is made in this building. We also make guitars overseas and ship 250 of those a day. Right, and locally, I believe you're the largest business in the county. I don't know. Employee-wise. It's a rumor. I, I, I looked it up. I you, did some you research. Lo you looked it up. I did okay. some research. Uh, so you you have the company making guitars. You get to play them. I know you said uh, yeah, you still get to I, play. I, play, I got to play last night. I had my hand operated on a couple of months ago, and it's healing, but I w I'm starting to be able to play again. Yeah. Do we ever, can we ever find you playing locally in Queens County? I used to play a lot. We used to play at Red Eyes Dock Bar, yeah. all weird things. Um, but we play at the Rams Head over in Annapolis. Cool. So we're in here, and I know just yesterday while we were visiting, you had another visitor to come. Mm -hmm. You get lots of cool people that come in here all the time, I imagine. Do you have any, any favorites or any off the top of your head that have, that have come by to tour the facility? Yes. But I don't think of them as favorites. Um, pretty much treat everybody the same. And who we had here, we had a very famous New York Yankee from their pennant in the days, right? Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. Um, that was cool. Um, uh, we had Kelly Slater, the famous uh, surfer yes. here not that long ago. Uh, Carlos Santana's been in this building. John McLaughlin's been in this building. Neil Sean from Journey's been in this building. Well, John Mayer's been here. A lot of people. That's really cool. Do you ever get to meet people and kind of sway them to play your guitars? Try to. Yeah. They're going to only do what they want to do. They're not going to do what they're forced to do. Yeah. They're only going to do what they want to do. Look, these rock stars are kings. They only, they pretty much only care about what they think. They are literally leaders in their own world. And I adore it because they're not hurt by the prejudice of the internet. They are interested in their own experience and what will do the job for them. And I love it. Mm -hmm. I think these uh, rock stars that think for themselves are powerful, beautiful, you know. They're giving people, I mean, you know, Johnny Carson once said, musicians are a strange lot. They expose their soul to strangers for money. Yeah, true. You know, or yeah. entertainers, he said, right? Mm, right. Um, you know, I, I remember there was an interview once, and the musician said, you can't give other people chills if you're not giving them, you're getting them yourself. That was That's a cool. really beautiful comment. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, I've seen literally spiritual experiences happen on stages where the air gets wiggy, and 
you can only see one thing and you know air sparkles and it's mm -hmm. very cool yeah I, I've seen musicians do things at Meriwether Post Pavilion and some of these other venues were unworldly so I, I had a question I wanted to ask you yeah. after taking your tour I think I know the answer yeah but I still want to hear you answer what makes your guitar special it's not one thing yeah it's a Look, if you want to get to the mall and you don't have a car, if you take enough baby steps, you'll make it to the mall in Annapolis. <laughs> you know. Um, you're going to have to do it in baby steps. It's All right, so look, this whole guitar, if that fret's in the wrong position, the guitar's not any good. If this thing's not in the right position, the right height, it, it's not any good. If these... Don't, one sounds good or one sounds bad, you have a problem. If, if this doesn't stay in tune, if you don't like the design of the headstock, you know, you, it's literally hundreds of things in parallel and series. So if you're a grocery store and you don't have cantaloupe, you're still a grocery store. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, if, we're, if we don't have the pickups, we're not guitar makers. Yeah. We have to have it all. Yeah. It's a very interesting event. There's a lot of parallel things going on and serious things going on. Things that are side by side marching together and things that align marching. Right. Um, so it's not one thing. Why don't you ask me one thing on, just one thing about the guitar and I'll tell you what's special about that. Why don't right. you point something out? Let's well, play a game. Well, on I, live TV, we're yeah. gonna play a game. Well, this was a cool one I learned about, but so I would love to hear a little more. So the, you have so many options of wood. Yeah. I never even thought it possible that wood makes different sound. Like, so, I don't know anything. I'm, I'm just a TV host. I don't, I don't know it. But you, how, ex help me understand that you have wood from around the world that you search out. All right, so what I'm going to do sound. is I'm going to pick up two pieces of wood and you tell me if you hear a difference. You got it. And then I want you to have some courage and tell me what I'm going to show you makes no difference. Oh, I didn't say it made no, no difference. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just a guitar maker. I don't know anything. Are you going to go after your, your comment? I mean, give me a break. <laughs> All right, so this is a piece of wood they make concert marimbas out of. This is a piece of wood they make uh, mandolins out of. So cool. That's so neat. It rings like crazy. It's a musical instrument all by itself as a piece of wood. Yeah, it's really neat. Fast. And what about style of wood? Do you have a do you have a favorite when you're when you're making the color kind of pops on certain wood? Yeah, I have my favorites, but I don't try to subject my favorites on the world. I, I uh, although I I do have a all my guitars are a different color than this one. No. Somebody's going to adore that. It's a yellow, green, lime thing. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm a blue kind of guy. I saw a blue one you had downstairs. It was yeah, amazing. Yeah, well, I did a pop psychology workshop once, and I came home, and I used to have all blue inlay material that uh -huh. I had searched for, but the other ones were pretty when I came home. My mind had been opened. <laughs> I liked the pinks and the reds and the greens yeah. when I came back. That's I was like, oh my God, I only like blue. Now I like them all. <laughs> I got to make, make every color now. Well, it was, I wasn't so calcified in one direction. Mm. It was good. So what's, tell me about your show. Tell me about you. Tell me about oh. this show that you have here in Queen Anne's County. Well, our, our main goal is to, you know, connect people to things in the county they might not know about. I know a lot of people know PRS is here, but they don't know how many people work here. They don't know the wood. They don't know yeah. the the amount of detail or the hundreds of hours that are spent by the employees making the perfect guitar. So we want to show that side to people. Yeah, we're but, making 100 guitars a day here and they're checking 250 guitars from overseas a yeah, day. Yeah, it's fascinating. There's a lot going on here. Um, there's a huge amount of wildlife in this county. Mm -hmm. There's an incredibly high percentage of good souls in this county. Right good people. Um, I think the 
hospital system and the fire departments and all the ways that, in which there's emergency is unbelievably well taken care of. This. I mean, our society works really well. You call the police, you call the fire department, you call an ambulance, they're going to show up <laughs> really fast. Yeah. Um, I think that part of our ca county works really well. Like I said, uh, Queen Anne's County Economic Development and the county commissioners busted their ass to get us here. Right. And we appreciated that. Um, I think that, that the public works works really well. Um, there's an immense amount of wildlife here. You can find, God knows, almost you know so many species of stuff in this county. You don't have to walk very far to see you know, the best that Maryland has to offer yeah. in terms of wildlife. Do you um, get the luxury to be able to take breaks or make it over to Terrapin? Because we're so I close. I used to, but I don't, recently I've been working so hard. This Ukrainian, Ukraine-Russian war, mm -hmm. um, it's got me a little spooked, not in terms of the war or the politics, although you could get very spooked by that, um, but more in terms of how our the customer's going to respond to the economic uh, pressure in Europe that's sure. being put on. So I'm going to get on an airplane and go visit all my big dealers over in Europe and talk to them and see how they're doing. Yeah. Sit with them, try to take care of them with you know however they need. Um, so I'm worried about that. COVID clearly was a difficult situation. Mm -hmm. They shut us down for two and a half months. The uh, health people in this county literally talked to the governor and helped us get reopened. I mean, you know, people busted their butts to try to help this business get back on its feet. I mean, I, you know, it was a time when you were driving down 50, not that long ago, when it was a desert. There was nobody on the road. Yeah. It said, get off the road. People are sick, you know. Mm -hmm. So. I think that that was handled well. I think that the health, the health system in Queen Anne's County is good. I mean, the infrastructure at schools are good. I got a chance to speak at a graduation at the high school up the street. That was fun. Yeah. When was that? Was that? That was a while ago. Yeah. I used to do it a lot. COVID shut all that stuff right down, and it's starting to re-enter. We're not wearing masks right now. Yeah. So it's really cool. But that you're so, but so involved with the community. I interview all the yeah. kids for a week before I talk. I don't want to talk ignorant of what happened. I, I, I spent a lot of time with the seniors talking about what was important. So I didn't just want the people who are running the the student government. I wanted the the, the kids that were the, the leaders of parking lot. I, you know, I, I wanted <laughs> all of them. I, I wanted to know what's really going. The athletic leaders. I, I talked to the coaches, I talked to everybody to find yeah. out what was really going on in school. So when I spoke, they knew that I had really done some research and some time to do that. When the person spoke at my graduation, he didn't know anything about us. Huh. We were stunned. He, oh, you're going out into a big world, kids, and I'm here to tell you it's going to be really hard. I'm like, yeah, he doesn't know anything about us. Right. So when I got a chance to do it, I would interview everybody. That's really cool. I wanted it to be very human and real. You know what's interesting? I remember what it was like to be a kid. I remember what it was like before kindergarten. I remember yeah. those experiences. And so I have a big heart for children mm -hmm. um, uh, because I, I remember what it was like. Yeah. I had really long hair in high school. It was hated. <laughs> Except all the pictures of Jesus had long hair. They didn't have a problem with that. <laughs> I didn't understand. It didn't make any sense to me. I said, the guy on the cross got long hair, you know. Yeah, it's, a, it's a good model, right? Well, it didn't make sense yeah. to me how you could idolize a male with long hair, and then if your kid had it, it was bad. Mm -hmm. It just didn't make any sense. It's been so wonderful chatting with you. And we've talked all about the past, and we've talked about you growing yeah. up and your love for music. I, my last question, though, mm. is where do you see for PRS in the future? It's a good question. I, I'm working as hard as I ever have to make sure that the guitars are magic when they come out of the case. My experience is 
that really good musical instruments literally find a home. Kind of like a really good dog will find a home. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I, it's, it's uh, and I saw so I'm, wor I'm working really, really hard to get the guitars to be even better than they are. And we have a meeting called One a Day where every day we try to solve a problem. We solve one problem a day. If we have that meeting 250 times a year, we just sold, solve 250 problems, right? Yeah. I don't know. I had a dog once. I walked into a barn, into a tack room, and there's this dog on the floor with a broken leg that was, you know, uh, casted up. And normally a dog like that, when they're in a lot of pain, you'll get close to them and they'll, they'll wag their tail and then they'll bite you. Mm -hmm. And I got near the dog and the dog wagged his tail and I petted it and it just wanted more pets, you know. And the dog looks at me and says, I'm your dog. I said, no, 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 <laughs> no, you are not my dog. He goes, no, I'm your dog. And I looked at him and went, nah, that dog was with me the rest of his life. You know, I, I, it, it all worked, it's all good. Life is difficult, but being in a place you like, it makes it a little easier. I think we're lucky here. I think we're really lucky. I think this, Maryland has four distinct seasons. We have a winter we all know about, yes. and it can get bitter and cold and wet. We have some of the most beautiful springs and falls. Summers have actually been fairly easy recently. They haven't been the sweltering monsters that they used to be, mm. so it's kind of eased up a little bit. Winters aren't as cold, not many snow, as many snows but also summer hasn't been as brutal. Yeah. Our falls the past couple of years have yeah, been Yeah, they're beautiful. Wonderful. Yeah. We have some magic days. Yesterday was stupid good. It was mm -hmm. beautiful in this county. So anyway, um, you know, uh, my business is here in Queen Anne's County. I live in Anne Arundel County. Um, I like coming across the Bay Bridge every day. I've seen some things coming across that Bay Bridge. A lot of the colors for our guitars come from the sunrises coming across the bridge. True story. That's cool. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can get some beautiful landscape pictures yeah. and then see some, some wonderful scenery out there. It's very interesting here. Yeah. Very interesting. Well, we're lucky to have you in the county. Oh, it's it's a wonderful sweet. business, wonderful employee. I like uh, being here. Morale, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can tell. Everyone here loves their, loves their jobs. Everyone we were, were was smiling, they enjoy it. We talked to some outside of work too, and they they really like being here. So it's an honor to get to meet you finally. It's an honor to, to have you, you here in Queens County. Look, we're guitar makers. We're not trying to be a brand. We're trying to make good stuff to make music with. Stuff you hold on, and music comes out of it. That's what we're trying to do. I can't believe you were gifting the whole crew a guitar each. That's pretty cool. Oh, Jared didn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jared, you might just lost right, your so towel on that one. Let me just explain <laughs> what just happened to everybody on the other side. He did something in sales we called an assumptive close. <laughs> he assumed that I was going to give him and the rest of the crew a guitar each, and he dropped it as a thank you, not a can you. And I acted as if was a little out of bounds what he did. But I do know a sales technique. That's called an assumptive close. I would never. I would never. No, assume. you just I would you never. tried to assumptively close me. <laughs> and then you looked at Jared and said, right, right Jared? Jared? Well, no, I, I, I figured I would partner the assumptive close with uh, guilt. Are we going on a trip? <laughs> Are we yeah. going on a trip? Why not? A guilt trip. Yeah, let's go. Great. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Paul, it was wonderful meeting you. It really Pleasure. was. All right. Thank you for your time. You're welcome.